With countless hours spent working, funds greatly diminish and discouragement around every corner. Somehow the amphibious houseboat continues to progress. So to fill you guys in on uh, where this project is and how we got here, pretty much started off with this Big A tractor. The first part of the project was pretty straightforward. Tear down the Big A, one piece at a time. I knew I would need a big forklift to do this old job with, so I called around and I bought a sweet old Clark forklift. Without that, this whole project, no way I could have done it. It's just the way it is. You gotta have the right tools for the job. The three-wheeled sprayer was disassembled, stripped down to the bare chassis. Everything left over would be sold to offset the build costs, or simply used as scrap. Next up was the houseboat. I kind of like how it was all laid out. You know, there's a small kitchen and a little half bath and a couple folding bunk beds and stuff. Although the 60s interior was charming, it had to go. Uh, while I'm working, it's just it's a major fire hazard and stuff's just in the way, so I had to tear pretty much the whole bottom of the boat out. Yeah, it did stink a little bit too. Uh, so <laughs> the rusted leaking bottom would be cut out, making way for the next step, putting in the frame. The tractor chassis was a little too short and way too heavy, so ultimately it had to go. A suitable replacement was found in a local salvage yard. I got one off an old bus. It's like 20 or 30 feet long. After a ton of work cutting and splicing, the new chassis was ready to go. Sliding it into position was a challenge. With a lot of patience, caution, and lube, the chassis was slowly jacked into place. And once the frame is in, and welded in place right inside the boat, because there's no reason to ever take this frame out again. After some considerable time spent welding, it was checked off the list. Unfortunately, the tractor axle proved to be too narrow for the width of the houseboat. I have to make it 12 foot wide because the boat is 12 foot wide and the sprayer was only 10. A fairly simple solution was custom wheel spacers. With the spacers in place, the wheel wells could then be accurately installed. Once finished, the wheels could be mounted. You know, it is somewhere around 14,000 pounds and it's on gravel, so it's, you know, the tipping hazard is a problem. But I used basically whatever I could to jack the thing up and hold it in place. <laughs> With the frame and wheels installed, the beast is finally starting to look like something. The boat is, for the most part, assembled. It still has to be skinned on the bottom, and we're going to sandblast the whole thing and get a new coat of paint, pretty much getting all the mechanical stuff wrapped up. There's still some things that I haven't totally figured out with that. The more physically daunting and demanding tasks might be done, but there is still a very long way to go. Will it float? Will it drive? Questions yet to be answered. And with summer just around the corner, time to prove it can is running out.